Always help. Scarlowy has been a good engine all day, and he always loves to help out every day. One day he was puffing at the yards next to Scruff, while Scruff was, was while Scruff was still taking two trucks full of balloons. Hello, Scruff. He said, "I see you're still taking balloons." I am," said Scruff. "Balloons are boring." I don't think they're boring at all," said Scarlowy. Scruff was cross. Do you not really? He said. I see you're still not a fan of me. Goodbye, stupid fool. And Scruff trundled away. Scarlowy was offended. Maybe he's still not my friend, he thought to himself. Thomas was at a siding. I see you and Scruff are not getting along this time. He still doesn't like me, said Scarlowy. Or he might have heard your stories about you and the, about you and Wilhelmina at the scrapyards, or about when ha when Hank saved you. I think so," said Scarlowy. "Oh, Percy's coming." Then Percy arrived. Hello, guys," he said. "Uh, Scruff is being nasty to you again, Scarlowy," said Percy. "He is," said Scru said Scarlowy. Anyway, uh, anyway, tomorrow he's he's doing a job. For what? He's gonna pull a tar tanker and a fuel tanker," said Percy. He still doesn't like that job," smiled Scarlowy. But we're gonna tease him again. The three engines both laughed. They were looking forward to be teasing Scruff again. Later that day, Scruff was sleeping at the docks when his driver arrived. Scruff, he said, "You have a train waiting for you. Passengers or garbage? Not passengers and garbage. Not slight." And definitely not balloons. What is it then? Said Scruff. Tar tanker and fuel tanker. Scruff was cross. I don't want to do that stupid job. He said. His truck. His driver. His driver. His driver. His driver tried to drive him, but his driver tried to drive him, but Scruff wouldn't move. Right. He said, "I found a way." He, right, he said, "I found a way." He pulled the lever inside Scruff, and Scruff was going backwards. And Scruff was coupled. Scruff was coupled to the tar tanker. <laughs> Growled Scruff. I hate this job. Then Scruff puffed out of the dock. Then he went past by Percy, Thomas, and Scruff. Hello, Scruff said Percy. Hello, Scruff. Hello, Scruff said Thomas and Scarlowy. But Scruff ignored them both, and then he continued on. <coughs> Suddenly, his brakes broke again. Help! He said. I can't stop. Not again. My brakes are broken again. He moaned. He couldn't stop. He he went into a he went into the wrong direction. The the signalman had forgotten to change him to the right direction. Suddenly. Scruff's driver tried to apply the brakes, but his brakes were still broken. Scruff crashed into an old shed. The fuel tanker was derailed. So was the tar tanker, and Scruff was derailed. Help! He said, "I'm stuck." 
Scarlo, he puffed away to see what was hap what was happening. He found Scruff and was ready. He pulled and he pulled and he pulled. Scarlo, he was still trying hard. <coughs> He pulled and pulled and pulled, and at last, Scruff was out. Thank you, he said to Scarlowie. You're welcome, he said, and they were friends again. Scruff tried to move, but he couldn't, so Scarlowie had to take him to the works. And with that, Scarlowie and Scruff were never were never insulting each other and they were and they were finally good friends. Later Thomas and Percy were still talking. Does that mean they're gonna be friends again? thought Percy. Agreed, said Thomas to Percy, and they both agreed. The sunset began to rise and the two engines settled in.